Trump is on pace right now, I believe, to make many states that he lost in 2020 competitive. I think he can make Virginia competitive, Minnesota, New Mexico, uh, maybe New York and New Jersey competitive, single digits. I think Trump right now, if the election were taking place, would win Georgia, Nevada, Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. I think there is panic setting in in the Democrat side. They got their convictions over Trump, but you saw his public rollout at UFC 302. I've asked this question before. Is there a single sporting event that Joe Biden could walk in for that the crowd would actually cheer him? I don't think there is. Not even a WNBA game. Not even Cal against Stanford in football. I don't think it happened in Major League Baseball. Not even Yankees Red Sox. They had a big uh, Trump flag that got unfurled at Yankee Stadium the other day. Men are breaking for Trump. I think it's going to be like 65-35. I think basically if you have a functional penis and like boobs, you're voting for Trump in 2024. Uh, and I'm sorry, I think, that, I think that's what the data is going to reflect. Overwhelmingly, male sports fans are going to support Trump in 2024. We know Trump goes to UFC. We know he goes to a lot of college football games. I've seen him there. Uh, we saw what just happened at F1. Is there anywhere? Now, there are places that would boo Trump. I'm not pretending that if Donald Trump went to the Washington Nationals, or maybe if he went to the New York Yankees or he went to a Boston Red Sox game. I'm not saying they might not boo him there, right? There certainly are sporting events where Trump would get booed. Is there anywhere, though, that Biden would be cheered? I don't think people would cheer Joe Biden at a Yankees game. I don't think they would cheer him at a Red Sox game. I don't think they would cheer him at a Chicago Cubs game. I'm trying to think of blue cities and blue states. I don't think they would cheer him at an L.A. Dodgers game. Again, Trump might get booed some places. I'm not disputing that. Is there any sporting event Joe Biden could go to where everybody there would cheer him? MLS soccer game? I don't know. WNBA game? NBA game? I don't think he would. I don't think he would get cheered like Trump does at the UFC or at F1 recently, or at many college football games. I think if Joe, what's the biggest game coming up in the SEC football uh, season? Obviously, you're adding Texas and you're adding Georgia. Let's say, uh, I think the Georgia game is at Texas. LSU, let's say, I believe the game at LSU, Alabama is going to be a big one. There's a lot of them. If Joe Biden went to the Iron Bowl between Auburn and Alabama, he would get booed into oblivion. If he went to the Florida-Georgia game in Jacksonville, the entire stadium would rain down boos upon him. Texas, Texas A&M, I think the stadium, even though Texas has some left-wingers, I think the stadium would rain down boos upon him. I don't think there is a stadium in the South. He went to a Braves game? Oh, my goodness the boos would rain forth like crazy. I don't think Joe Biden could go anywhere in the South and not get booed, but I don't think he could go anywhere in the country and get cheered for a sporting event. Is it indicative of how the election's going to go? Not necessarily, but I think it starts to give you a little bit of an indication about how things are going uh, out there. Georgia at Bama, huge game. All right, there's your answer. Probably the biggest game that we would expect. Georgia at Bama, universal booing for Joe Biden, universal cheering for Trump. Axios has had a story the past couple of days that Trump has a real chance to win 18 to 29-year-old voters, would be the first Republican to win 18 to 29-year-old voters since 1988. George H.W. Bush, the first George Bush, was the last Republican to win 18 to 29-year-old voters. Why do I uh, bring this up? Biden's strongest voting group right now is voters over the age of 65. They are supporting Biden by around nine points. Voters over 65 have voted for Republicans in every election in the 21st century except for 2000. 
why would you have a situation where young voters are breaking for Trump and older voters are breaking for Biden? I would submit it's because old voters, older voters, are more likely to be influenced by traditional media. CBS, NBC, ABC, CNN, they're more likely to be watching and reading the New York Times, the Washington Post, because they haven't recognized how much those media outlets have moved. Younger voters are more likely, I think, to be discerning in what media they consume and to be skeptical overall. Just worth considering, because I think that's kind of backwards to how most people would contemplate this thing going. Older voters breaking for Biden, younger voters breaking for Trump. Why? I would submit because of the way that NBC News is covering your boy and the videos that I shared. You can watch it for yourself. If you don't think Biden has lost several steps and he do, and if you don't think he has dementia, that's your right. To me, it's not a very difficult call. He's clearly got issues cognitively. Data point that I thought was positive. 18 to 29-year-olds, according to Axios this morning I was reading, are potentially going to vote for Donald Trump over Joe Biden. If that were to occur, it would be the first time that Republicans have won 18 to 29-year-old voters since George H.W. Bush in 1988. Reagan, of course, won in 84 because he won 49 states. No Republican has won the youth vote going all the way back to 1988. At a minimum, Trump is going to be the closest since the 2000 election. I think that is a pretty significant factor here. Uh, 18 to 29-year-olds. I ripped a lot of young people over the stupidity surrounding Palestine and trying to argue that somehow Israel is the bad side. But there is, I believe, a rebellion of sorts among young people who recognize that they have been lied to through COVID, that they've largely been lied to about Trump, and they are seeing through the noise, and this may end up being a competitive voting block. You know, the only group that Trump wins big right now, Gen X. It's kind of fascinating to think about, right? Why are Gen X voters overwhelmingly Trump supporters? I think, look, I'm Gen X by like eight months. I was born in April of 1979. If I had been born eight months later, I would be a millennial and I would have fallen apart and I'd probably be crying on air right now with all of you. Um, I think Gen X sees through BS. And most of us who grew up in the 80s and the 90s uh, have a large BS detector on And we recognize how much we're being lied to. And Trump, while imperfect, is crazily more honest by far than most of the media that covers him. 